All right, first thing, I'm going to show you the end result of an animation in Photoshop. So here we go. I'm just going to play it from here. This is the end result. As you see, it plays 0 0.2 or one-fifth one of a second apart. All right, so I started it for you. So it's just going to say whatever you want it to say. Make sure you have a background and a layer with text in it. You're going to click on background and you're going to go down here and create a new layer so that it is above it. Make sure it's above it or it ain't going to work right. Alright, over here you want to select two different colors. It doesn't matter which, any colors. I'm just going to do red and blue. Alright, the first thing you want to do is you want to, in layer one, you're going to highlight the four, or whatever comes first in yours. Alright, and after that, you're just going to click on background, and you're going to create a new layer, and you're going to hit X, and that'll switch colors up here in the top right, and then you're just going to highlight the next one. It can look however good you want it to look. I mean, I'm just rushing right now just to get through this tutorial because I don't like when people lollygag in other tutorials. You're just going to keep adding layers and keep highlighting. Do whatever you got to do. Any color, any brush. It really doesn't matter. But this is just the beginning of the animation. Looks looks horrible, but anyway, we'll just keep it like that. All right, now this one see has this right here, and mine's already preset to come up with the animation screen. But if you do not have it, you can go to Window and go down to Animation. See if I just unclick it, then it'll be regular. But if you go to Window and then Animation, it'll pop that up. All right, so however many letters you have, I have five letters here. Four shot. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to want a blank screen, so you're going to want to add six new frames. By doing that, you're going to come here and click, and you're going to go to New Frame. And as you see, the frame numbers are right above it. So you have three right now. Four, five, six. All right, and this little time right down here says zero seconds. You want to change all of them to 0 0.2 seconds. Or in the beginning on the first slide, you can change it to 0 0.2 and then just keep adding slides. All right, after you get that done, we have the hidden tool over here with the eye. All right, the first layer, you don't want any of them to show, except the background and the text itself. The second one, you want layer one to show, because that's the first letter highlighted. Third one, you're going to obviously want layer one and two. Fourth one, you're going to want one, two, and three. Fifth frame, you're going to want one, two, three, four. And finally, the sixth frame, you're going to want everything to show. Note that these are all on 0 0.2 if you want to speed them up you can either go to 0 0.1 or no delay that's very fast the higher you the longer you make it this is one tenth of a second this is one fifth of a second this is one half of a second this is a second and then from one second up it takes longer so you can make it 20 seconds, you can make it 15 seconds, 4.6, 9.2, you can make it pi, 3.14, repeating. I don't care what you make it, but I'm just saying you can change it if you don't like it. So if you just want to pre preview it, just hit play, and it'll play one-fifth of a second after each other. And I bet you that looks like just like the other one. Let's play this one. Oh, it does. Imagine that. Pictures or wherever you want it to as a dot .gif. So let me stop these animations from playing here. All right, the first thing you want to do is you're going to file, and you're going to go down and go save for web and devices. You do not want to go to save as. Go to save for web and devices. After you get this done, you're going to come up with this screen right here. You can either preview it again by clicking play, or if you, you change it, whatever you want to do, and hit save. Make sure this is at GIF. Right at the top, make sure this is at GIF, not JPEG or PNG8 or PNG24 or 28, whatever it is. Then just hit save. I'm going to save it to my desktop as GIF.GIF. 
but make sure this is on GIF, not HTML and image files or HTML only. Default settings, it doesn't really matter. Uh, to make sure it's name it whatever you want, but make sure this is on GIF again. And then hit save. All right, most computers will play back GIFs in a GIF player, such as Adobe. I don't know Adobe Media Player. I have that, but. It's going to be right here on your desktop or my desktop or wherever you saved it. You're just going to double click it and it's going to open it in either Windows Media Player or Adobe Media Player. But mine, I have it set to open Windows Internet Explorer, unfortunately. But anyway, I'm just going to note this. You can make it any size, any shape, any text, any color, anything you really want. It doesn't really matter. This is just a simple tutorial on how to make an animation in Adobe Photoshop CS3. Or CS4, I like. I like. I personally like CS3 better because it's more user friendly. But anyway, this is what you're gonna end with, right there. So uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you uh, learned something. All right, thank you.